New this morning, the city of Sharon has a lot of exciting plans for the year. There are some great events and even some new businesses coming soon. First News Mercer County reporter Hannah Erdman is live in Sharon with what to expect. Hannah, good morning. Yes, Sam, what to expect is a lot of great things and a lot of new things coming to the city and the Shenango Valley for people to enjoy. Now, we are speaking events and businesses, but we'll start with some of the events. Lots of favorites are returning, but new this year, they're hosting the first annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in March. The city's downtown development director says these events are not only great for the community, but for the small businesses, too. The city says it's important for business owners to understand that they play a larger role in the city than just having a storefront. Also being very careful how we you know, pick different businesses to come in because we want them to support the current ecosystem. For example, Kroker's will never sell food. So what they're going to be doing is getting all the local menus into their, you know, they'll have like food trucks on the weekends, but they'll be getting menus from other restaurants there so that people can order in food so it's literally going to add business to all our restaurants and, and we're, you know that's what we're trying to do is how can we partner together Cher says she is super excited for the several new places to join to help with the collaboration efforts in the city the city hosts business owners together for quarterly meetings she says it's a chance for owners to cross pollinate and also allow them to share ideas and concerns to city officials over 2023, there's going to be lots of things coming to Sharon and in the Shenango Valley, and we're going to be making sure and checking out all those events. But that first one is going to be this weekend, as there will be an artisan market that will be all Valentine's Day themed to make sure you can get those gifts for your loved ones before Valentine's Day hits. Reporting live in downtown Sharon, Hannah Erdman, First News, Sunday morning.